this part. Yes, he owns a part of the bar. Rich biatch. Rude. I'm being rude. Awakening. You're in for a rude awakening. How you doing, buddy? Do you think that it's good business to be slapping drinks out of people's hands, comping full bottles? I mean, what the fuck, man? Love you. Fuck you. Carl figured that your tab is 8700 bucks. Throwing drinks, the, the comped rounds, the, the 20 odd bottles you've just pissed away over the last few weeks. Thanks You're for done. the data set, You're Jack. finished. I'm sick of you. Jack, how are you? <laughs> I'm great, man. Better than ever. Are you in town? I don't have long to talk. What's that shit on your face? Oh, that's, uh... That's nothing. What's, what's, what's up? You had breakfast? Sort of. Well, either way, I'll meet you downstairs in the cafe in 15 minutes. I'll explain everything then. So what's, you know... Aren't you supposed to be in, like, Maryland or...? Virginia. My family and I live in Virginia. That's right. I need your help. Is it uh, legal trouble? Because I gotta tell you, the state bar kind of looks down on me practicing law at the moment. Don't drink the water anymore. Don't drink the water anymore. Like ever? <laughs> like no more water for anyone? Because this guy is drinking water. Keep your voice down. I need you to take care of Shannon and Natalie for a while. What makes you think you can trust me with your family? You're my brother. The place is not exactly kid-proof. Family lake house in Allen. <laughs> All right. Where are the cameras? It's a joke, right? Don't drink the water, go to Ellen. Are you insane? This isn't about you, Jack, or what happened back home. This is about survival. Survival? The house is a well, everything you need. This is where I'm asking you to take my family, and I need you to do it tonight. Shannon and Natalie will be at the airport in five hours. That'll give you another 10 hours to get out of the city. Before what, Shane? What? what the hell's going on? Hey, Pop, where's everybody going? We're all going south. Groundhog says a terrible blizzard's coming. Ah, uh, go on. That guy don't know his shadow from a hole in the ground. You I told you, man. I ain't sending shit to you no more. Last time you threw money in my face. I want that. Keep it packed. 
the whole thing. That's a kilo, man. That's half my fucking supply. Shit's gotta last me another week. I can make a sale today, take the rest of the week off. Bro, this is in fucking Costco. I'm not asking you to do bulk, you stupid shit. I want the whole thing, I'll pay retail. No. I pay for each ounce. Just like I was waltzing up in here and buying a gram at a time. That's, um, uh, 28 grams an ounce. Times 35. How much is that? $39,000. Why? stays with me. It has an Emma's instant. Come on, sweetie. Major Shane had us on a mission. Surplus world and supermarket. Apparently this is not a test. What all did he tell you? Uh, the water supply. He said definitely don't drink the tap water. Uh, there might be a, an attack on the electrical grid. He's, when that happens, we need, to, we need to be the fuck out of here. We were rerouted three times. All military families, people were freaking out. All right, buddy, let's move along now. Yeah, we're leaving. Okay, anything else? Uh, just go to the lake house. That's it. I mean, he, he said you'd know what to do once we got there. Yeah, there's supplies there. Shane's known about something for a really long time. is transmitted at the request of the Federal Aviation Administration. An unidentified aircraft has been located near the state of Florida. The aircraft is presumed to be foreign and may pose a threat to those in the area. Jack, what are you doing? Is that sugar? Yeah. Can I have some, please? No. Not right now, okay? Can you hand me the other gas can? <gasps> Mommy, what I need to use the restroom. Okay, come, come, let's go. Go ahead and take her in, and I'll uh, fill the other one, and we can bounce, okay? Yeah. Okay. 
Hey, bro, you mind if we uh, get some gas, too? Yeah, man, just give me a sec. Yeah, just give me a sec. Hey, Jack Coleman? Jude! Simpson? What the fuck, man? I thought for sure you'd be dead by now. Or at least in federal prison, man. Uh, friends in high places. Yeah, with lake houses here, here! Yeah, we got a little impromptu bachelor party going on at uh, Judge's crib this weekend, man. You should come by, blow it out with us. Samuel Hammond, huh, the iron gavel? That's right, man, tough but fair. Tough but fair, man. My man in there, Bobby Maxwell. Prematurely ending his life, he's marrying the judge's daughter, man. You know. The fuck you doing, man? You gearing up for the apocalypse? What do you mean? Take it easy, Turbo. It's got a fire for the Lord tonight, that motherfucker. What's with all the gas, man? Oh, man, I, uh, quit drinking alcohol, man. Moved on to something harder. Quit drinking alcohol, you, you. Come on, take, take a sip, man. Come on, take a, take a little sip, man. I'm offering you a drink, take a sip. Fucking insult me like that. You got some shit in this bench. What kind of goodies you got in here, man? Come on, I'll break you off some cash. Uh, bro. Yeah, I'll break you off a little cash. Wait, 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 whoa. I don't have anything you want to be, man. Yeah, all right, okay. What do you mean, man? Hey, come on, man. You guys are pretty, uh, pretty tuned up as it is. <laughs> oh, 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 man. Granted, I might be a little fucked up right now, but uh, Jack Coleman, of all people, standing in judgment, my spirit is lifestyle, man. Hey, I just shared my drink with Come you, man. Just <laughs> relax. It's not like that. Right. It's not like what? How is it then, man? Because it seems to me this is like uh, the pot calling the uh, marijuana black. Man, just relax. Man. Just, just relax. I just I don't have any shit on me right now. It's, it's... Come on, man. Problem, man. What the fuck, man? What a hatchet, really? Dude, uh, dude, I don't need this shit tonight, man. Just uh, take the pump, all right? I, I, I'm done. You want to get your boy out of here? Oh, he ain't going to do anything. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. is missing. Uh, you sure it's not tucked uh, in the back somewhere? No, it has Natalie's insulin. I put it right here at the airport. Really want to go back to the gas station? have to go back. Okay. Right. Jack. Oh, fuck, it's Mary. Mary, Mary? Yeah, I got to take this, okay? Jack, Natalie's insulin. Uh, I, I know. I I'll be fast, okay? <laughs> Mary. Mary, Mary, are you there? Yeah, Jack, what is going on? What was that message about? All right, listen to me. You need to find a safe place, okay? A safe place. You know what, Jack? Are you on drugs again? Fuck. That message that what? you left me sounded Is Nathan crazy. safe? Where is he? Nathan is fine. He's sleeping. Are you at his house? What? Todd's. Are you at Todd's house? I don't even know what I'm telling you, Jack. We're on vacation. All right, listen to me, okay? Listen to me very carefully, please, for our son. Things are about to get really bad, okay? Um... All right, Shane, Shane asked me to leave the city. He told me to leave the city as soon as possible. Okay, I don't understand it myself. I, I'm, I'm on my way to the lake house with, with Natalie and Shannon. And it, Natalie? Look, maybe he was wrong about you, you being good for me, but if he's right, in this instance, things are about to get really bad, okay? The whole world is about to change for the worse, much worse. Do you understand me? What are you talking about? Look, just find somewhere to hold up, somewhere safe, get as much food and water as you could possibly get. No tap water, Mary, do you understand me? No tap water. Slow Stay away from that shit. Just get bottled water. Don't bathe in it. Don't, none of that. Stay, keep Nathan away from tap water. Do you understand me? You're scary. Where are you? We're in Destin, Florida. Jack, would you please help me? All right, just listen. Mary. Mary. Fuck.
think Miles is. Fuck. <sighs> Packed an extra insulin pin in Natalie's bag. It should last her a couple days. Does Deacon Dorman still live in Ellen? Uh, yeah, I think so. I'll, uh, first thing in the morning, I'll head into town. Natalie, it's time for bed. Good night, Uncle Jack. Uh, good night, sweetie. All right. Good night, Uncle Jack. You! What do you want? I I'm not looking for any trouble, man. Drop the bag. Kick it over. Raise your hands and turn around. You a friend or a family? Friend. Of? Deacon Dormant. Deacon? As in Dr. Dormant? Yeah, he's a uh, uh, friend of the family, so he's... Sorry. Real family only. Why'd you ask me who I'm a friend of? Go and get the fuck out of here. Yeah, uh, Deacon's my brother. H his brother? Yeah. Prove it. Prove I'm not. Hello. You got this place on lock. Everyone's panicking. I haven't slept in three days. And frankly, I'm still mad at you. I hesitated to call your friend, much less brother. What you want, Jack? I need some insulin. You can't get high off insulin. Yeah, I, I know that, Deacon. Look, I know I burned you, okay, and I'm sorry. Burned? You stole my pad, wrote prescriptions in my name. You didn't burn me, Jack. You ruined me. Insulin's not for me, Deacon. It's for Shane's daughter. Natalie? How, how old is she now? Maybe seven. Total sugar pop. Jack Coleman? Dana? Dana Holland, wow. Are you a, a nurse? I've been for the past few days. You remember my dad? Is that Jack Coleman? How are you, sir? Same Jack Coleman that I ran off my porch trying to take my freshman daughter to the senior prom. The very same, in the flesh. You look like shit. Dad. I heard you got run out of town. You still acting scoundrel? Probably more so than people say. Sounds like it. Looks like it, too. And smells like it. Goddamn, I can smell your ass from over here. I'm sorry. Time for your medicine, Mr. Holland. He came back just in time to see our town fall apart. You know it's not just Ellen, right? 
What have they told you? Rolling blackouts, something about using too much electricity. We keep hearing the power's gonna come back on any day now. God damn. Is that tap water? Ishmael. Jack. That's not necessary. Is it tap water? What's going on, Jack? I think he's on drugs again. Again, he's never been off them. You aren't having rolling blackouts. That's bullshit. The power is out indefinitely. Keeping him here is letting him die here very soon. Now that sounds like bullshit. If you don't have a safe place, then yeah, you can stay with us. I don't understand. I don't understand either. But my brother, he's privy to information. He, he sent me here with his wife and daughter. Look, it's like an orchestrated attack on, on power and water in most major cities, it, along with something nuclear. It's, it's bad. It's Shit! Damn it, Walter! What the hell is the matter with you? Bottled water! Says you. It says Major Shane Coleman, U.S. Army, okay? The guy is... He's got Pentagon clearance or something. He knows. Haven't you been listening to him, Dad? To him? Hell no. Look at him, darling. Does he look like a credible source of information to you? Oh, not your ass again. Y'all know him too? Yes. Unfortunately. Give us two minutes. Tell me about the power outages. Your breath stinks. <laughs> tell me about the outages. And I'll tell you why Shaft over there is carrying an assault rifle. It's the same in the city? Yeah. We've had seven people die here since last Thursday. Is that true? Twelve. As of this morning, exactly twelve residents have died. If you want to die here in this shithole, fine. If not, I'm taking you and Dana out of here. But what I need is the hard ass that ran me off the porch with a 45. Not this guy. We're not imposing? Y'all are coming. That's the way it's gotta be. I need to stop by the house first. Jack. Meet me at Alton's Pharmacy at 8.15. From there, we can make our way to the lake house as a group, and I can check on Natalie. Right, go home. Get what you need. Meet me at Alton's uh, no later than 8.30. Okay, Jack. Thank you. Alden? Jack? It's Deacon Dorman. Don't shoot. He's dead. This is our world now, huh? Can't imagine what it must be like in the city. Did he, did he have kids? I knew his son, Chris, in high school, but I haven't heard or seen him since. Chris. That's right. Fuck. Oh, Percocet, Xanax, all missing the usual suspects. I can guarantee you there's no doctors rummaging through this. Here we go. Insulin. How much you weigh now, 60, 70 pounds? Uh, if that. There's enough here to last her for maybe half a year, but you gotta keep it refrigerated, Jack. Well, it'll go bad in a little less than a month. Yeah, uh, the, the, the house uh, with the well in it. Uh, Shane's thought of that, too. Stay here. Jack, what's the deal? Just give me a sec. Did you kill Alton?
Ready? Deacon, what are you doing? How'd you do that? What you mean? Well, wh whatever we saw, that explosion, Shane said it was an EMP. It should have fried your engine the same as mine. She was in the shop before all this happened. When I went to pick her up, the battery was disconnected. There was no one there. So I reconnected it myself. She started right up. All right, hop in. It's probably the only working car in Ellen. Need to be careful. Who is she? Where's the insulin jack? Right here. Who's that, Mommy? It's Dr. Deacon. He's an old friend of Uncle Jack's. I was there when you were born, sweetie. If it wasn't for him, I would have just grabbed a bunch of stuff and I and hoped it helped. Thank you, Deacon. It's time for your medicine, sweetie. I want Daddy to give me the shot. Uh, honey, your daddy's not here. I can do it for you. I want Uncle Jack, too. Uncle Jack's not feeling well. Please, Uncle Jack. Oh, no. I can't, I can't, baby. I can't do that right now. It's easy, Uncle Jack. I can't. This is a time where you can't say no, Jack. You can handle it, Jack. Thank you, Uncle Jack, for getting my medicine. Where, where, where is it gonna go? Just watch me, you have to pinch it. Right here. Okay. Jack. <laughs> okay. Uncle Jack. says you're through the worst of it. <clears throat> they're, uh, the trading stuff in town. Anything of value. We, we went there a few days ago with Wellwater thinking it'd be a huge hit. Half of Ellen's on Wellwater. How's Natalie? Also alive. Thanks to you. Well, also kind of not thanks to me. So. You said that guy came at you with a hatchet? Assuming you weren't hallucinating. Those guys, it was... The look in their eye was... I mean, it was almost like they'd gone savage before they knew the shit hit the fan. Any word from, uh... From Shane? Guarantee his ass is gonna pop out of the sky in a parachute when we least expect it. With a pizza. <laughs> Uncle Jack! Look what I found! It's got your name on it! <laughs> yeah, that's, uh... That's me, all right. 
Can I keep it? Yeah, sure. Just don't poke yourself with the needle. I'm not afraid of needles, Uncle Jack. <laughs> Touche. Once a real life city councilman. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Grab anything of value, anything we can eat or trade. We'll be back in 30 minutes. You sure you're okay by yourself? Yeah, go to Deacon's place and help him. Y'all can get back here faster that way. Okay? All right, get on your seatbelt. We're getting ready to roll. Jack. Jack. Proud of you. But, uh, you know we could have traded that, right? Oh, thank you. Did she go down easy? She kept asking about her daddy. I said he was flying through the sky to come see her. <laughs> thank you. Anytime. So, you gonna tell us why we're all sitting here? Okay, well, we need something to trade. What about the well water? I thought that was a pretty good idea. It's a commodity with no value. It doesn't have the value that we thought it would have. We're gonna make homemade wine. That's a terrible idea, Jack. If once a drunk, always a drunk. Dad, cool it. Jack, do you really think that's a good idea? What are you gonna contribute when you fall off the wagon? It only takes one drink, Jack. It was my idea. And it's a good one. And what about him? Have you honestly thought about what it'll be like for Jack? I've seen him. He can't control himself. Right here, Deacon. He's an addict. It's a disease, and it's very real. I'm right here. He can handle himself. As long as he has us, he can handle himself. Look, my grandfather used to make homemade wine every summer. All right, you just need uh, yeast, fruit, sugar, and water. We've got plenty of water. You really think he can handle this? He'll surprise you. I bet there's still plenty of yeast and sugar at Kimball's Bakery. 
Not an obvious target for looters. It's a really good idea. And where are you going to find fresh fruit? When we were kids, Deacon and I used to sneak onto Mr. Roosevelt's property and steal his prize winning peaches. <laughs> Among other things. I think he shot at us once, didn't he? <laughs> it was more than once. Your ass been shot at more than me, and I was in a war. Yeah, him too. Korea won the Medal of Honor. He was old then. I'd be amazed if he's still alive. Y'all trespassing! Mr. Roosevelt, it's Jack! Jack! Jack Coleman! It's Jack Coleman! Jack? Coleman? Yes, sir, Jack Coleman. Don't they run you out of town? I'd offer you fellas something to drink, but all I got's water, and not a hell of a lot of that. Where'd you find the water? Girl down the road, sweet thing. She comes by and checks on me time and time again. Brought me water from their well. Mr. Roosevelt, what happened to your glasses? Oh, I fell, they fell off. Had to step on them to find them. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I, I, I can get you another pen. Well, I sure would appreciate that. <laughs> Although I'm sure Jack Coleman here glad I ain't had him on earlier. <laughs> <laughs> One of these days, somebody's gonna pop you, Jack. Thanks for that, Walter. Now, uh, before we get to why y'all are here, Tell me each one of y'all's first and last names. I, I like to call people by the first and last name. Now, I know Jack Coleman here, but, uh... Uh, Dr. Deacon Dorman, sir. Pleased to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, too, sir. Lieutenant Colonel Walter Holland, 9th Infantry Division, and retired. Okay. I'm gonna call you Dutchie. Now, Jack Coleman, what the hell is going on out there? Well, we're not exactly sure, but we are running out of food. Uh, we're looking for something to trade. Now, what I'd like to do is make some homemade wine. Uh, we've got everything but the fruit. You still have those peach trees? I do, but they're dormant right now. I got some ripe plum trees in the back, though. Those work? I work just fine. Uh, take all you want. One condition. Name it. Take me with you when you leave. I haven't seen that girl for a while and starting to worry that she might not be coming back. Blind old man like me ain't gonna make it all alone by himself out here. Absolutely. More than welcome to come with us. Speak softly and carry a big ass shotgun, huh? Hey, you bet your ass. Jack, can we stop by that girl's house? It's on the way, and I'd like to let her know that I'm okay. Oh, yeah, sure. Mr. Roosevelt, no problem. Thank you. Is this Amanda and Billy Garnett's place? Amanda Garnett. Sweet thing. Mr. Roosevelt, why don't you stay in here with Walter until we make sure everything's all right in there? Is something wrong? I hope not.
dehydrated. Deacon doesn't think she'll make it through the night. Mr. Roosevelt's gonna stay in there with him. First thing tomorrow, we'll, we'll bury that woman's family. Hoping to get us some chatter, see what's going on out there. He wouldn't have stayed in Virginia, Shan. She's gone. Did everything he could under the circumstances. Seven years old and never played checkers, but she's pretty good already. It's the last of it. What did Shannon eat? She was asleep, so I set some aside for her. Queen me. It's king me. Yeah, but I'm a girl. Wine should be just about ready. You think? Well, doesn't matter. We need to trade something, I will starve. Should we try it first? Let's make sure we don't kill anyone we trade with. It's just homemade wine. It's to be safe. Just like dead possum. <laughs> Give it here. Turn, Dutchy. We can do some of this stuff, right? As much as you want, soldier. We got plenty. Jack. Take Natalie inside. Come on, sweetie. Let's go play inside. Don't come any closer. Oh, I, I need help. I'm all alone. Stop! Coleman, old boy. It, Christ, man. I haven't, I haven't like eaten for like a week, man. We don't have any food. Water. How about water, man? Water. Go back to the judge's house. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I'm so, so, so hungry, man. Stop! Oh, man. At the gas station, man. You knew. You knew, man. Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me? You stole my sister-in-law's purse. Had my niece's insulin in it. Could have killed that little girl. Hey, I didn't steal it, man. It was Bobby Maxwell. Where is he? Uh, he's dead, man. 
And I'm gonna die out here all alone, too. Back up. At least I could have been with my old lady. You should have told me! Back up! Uh, you should have told me, man. Get him a jug of water. Yeah. I can give you water. We don't have any food. Bullshit! Bullshit! Water. That's it. Take your water and go home. Or don't. Whatever you do, know this. If I see you here again, I'll take it as a threat. You understand me? I'm so awkward. Do you understand what I said? Don't come back here. I'm gonna die anyway, soon enough, man. I'm just... We're all gonna die. You know, when Teddy was in office, he was still boxing. Uh-huh. <laughs> 50 years old, man gets hit in the left <laughs> eye and goes blind. No bullshit. <laughs> yeah, that's another way. I'm just like him. Yeah, how's that? I'm blind as a mug. <laughs> <laughs> Some good shit. <laughs> hey, Shannon? Come in. Hey, I was, oh, I'm sorry. I was just checking on you. Um, did you eat today? I'm not hungry. Dana brought you some soup. You really should eat something. How's Natalie? She's good. Dana's uh, putting her to bed. Dana's an angel. Yeah. Look, Shannon, if you if you need to talk or anything, I'm so proud of you, Jack. I read a poem today. Rambo. A season in hell. I realize I haven't read a book in years. I'm gonna keep believing that I'm gonna see Nathan again. And I'm gonna keep believing that we're gonna see Shane again real soon.
all night, Jack? Get some sleep. That's it. Let's roll. We'll be back in a few hours. All right. Be safe. truck's gonna be safe? No. All of my nightmares are about losing that truck now. How'd you know about this place? Ishmael says it's dangerous, but worth the risk to trade. Stay alert. Ma'am. Deal. It's Castile so pink. Nice touch. It's artisanal. I'll give you two bottles for everything you got right there. Uh, Going once. How about half? All right, deal. Settle up with her. Yeah, you make the deals, I'll make the trades. All right. I've got beef steak tomato seeds. We have a winner! I got some bullets. All right, we need bullets. Yes, sir. I got pecans and walnuts here. I got both sacks for five of them jugs. I'll give you two jugs. All right, who's next? What you got? What you got? This one's got tools. Sorry, folks. We're all out. Thank you. All right. Those are, what did you just say about those? Those are good for three more years. We lucked out. I doubt they'll last. <laughs> we got another week. We'll stretch them.
gonna put her to bed. I'll be right out. Okay, I'll be on the porch. Okay. Crazy dreams. Deacon and them ain't back from selling the wine. How long they been gone? Too long. Mm -hmm. Nobody in there but Shannon and Natalie. Well, somebody's gonna go look for them. Your most pressing responsibility is in that house. Now, I'm an old man. There's no way I'm gonna stay up the whole night. Ain't nothing we can do but wait. I'll go make some coffee. I'll bring you something, okay? Jack Coleman, bring me some of that homemade wine instead, would you? You got it. You don't mind me sipping on these refined spirits you concocted in such close proximity. Oh, that's, it's all right. I've noticed you engaged in that photo book from time to time. I can't rightly see what those pictures is, but I get a sense. Well, this is my son. Nathan, and that's his mom, Mary. Like a couple of blurry white folks to me. Well, I'm uh, coming to terms with the fact that they are getting blurrier and blurrier. All I knew about my mom and daddy is what I've seen in photographs. Grand folks raised me in Wyoming. I went to Korea, never saw them again. I got married. Divorced, married again, over and over. Had kids, seven of them. I wanted a tribe, you know? I wanted roots. But I was always the odd man out in my clan. I was restless, you know, still at war in my head. And then I found this woman, the perfect woman, Korean of all things, vacationing in the U.S. Boy, she crowned me her king. Thought I hung the moon. <laughs> Married her quick. <sighs> then she died. Angel of Death just swooped down and scooped her up. I spent 20 years alone in that raggedy house just waiting for him to come and swoop me up too. I apologize for shooting at you, Jack Coleman. You saved my life by bringing me here. Uh, no matter what happens, you'll always be family to me. Dear Nathan, you're old enough now to understand that your father made mistakes, a lot of them. But the one thing that he got right with you. You are the new beginning to my new world. You're everything that I hold dear. Love your father, Jack.
Jack, you don't get to pass judgment. You, you lied to me. Again. You had food. Hell, you even had booze. And you were content to just let me die, weren't you? Oh, she, she didn't know about your little party stash, did she, Jack? I did, you didn't. You didn't you know. Jack, but you did. I saw you. I saw you. Yes, you did. Once a drunk, always a drunk. It's a little girl, Jude. I know you wouldn't hurt a little girl, man. Come. You can do whatever you want with me. Just let him go, okay? That's exactly how we're gonna do it, Jack. Just me and you. Just me and you, and I'll have the final judgment on your worthless, pissed away life of the disgraced former city councilman, Jack Cole. My man, why don't you and the little girl hit the road right now? <laughs> Do it! Jack Coleman. Mm. Jack Coleman never gave a damn about anybody but Jack Coleman. You know, that's a pretty lonely way to live. It's a lonely way to die. Survival. He's an addict, it's a disease, and it's very real. We're all gonna die. <laughs> if once a drunk, always a drunk. Assuming you weren't hallucinating. This is a time when you can't say no. <gasps> Good. I love you, brother, but you're you're a colossal something, man. 
failure. I failed you, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry I failed your family, I'm sorry. Oh, you didn't fail, Jack. She didn't, you didn't fail in the army. You called it missing your mark, you just slipped. We'll survive if it does. How long do I get to stay with you? Well, I guess it depends on how long your mom and Todd stay in Costa Rica. Oh. Excuse me, we're lost. Can you tell us where Fletcher Avenue is? Uh, yeah, it's um. Jack Coleman. Is that you? Dana. Dana Holland, wow. What's it been? God, four, five years? Uh, doesn't seem like that long. Yeah, you, are you back here now? Yeah, I am. I haven't been over here in ages, so, I mean, obviously I don't know where Fletcher Avenue is. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's all right. I get lost sometimes around here, too. Uh, it's just, it's actually at the top of the hill at the stop sign. You can't miss it. Thanks, Jack. Come on, Dad. So, uh, taking my son camping. What about you? Kids or? Oh no, no kids. Except for one. You remember my dad? Is that Jack Coleman. I'm gonna set my mind free from whatever my troubles be. Believe me, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. Whoa. I'm gonna make it. Yes, yes I will. I'm gonna learn to swallow my pride Trust in the Lord to be my guide In His arms I will reside Cause I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make it yes. I'm gonna make it oh. I'm gonna make it yes, yes I will I'm gonna make it, yeah. I'm gonna make it, yeah. I'm gonna make it, yeah. Yes, I will. Oh, I'm gonna make it, yeah. I'm gonna make it, yeah. I'm gonna make it, yeah. Yes, I will. I'm gonna make it, make it, make it, yes I will. So I'm gonna make it, make it, make it, yes I will. I'm gonna 
your side. We.